Okay, so we have a lot to talk about. Um, I wrote everything down so I wouldn't forget. Um, so I'm just, I'm going to go down the line and how I have everything written on my notebook. And I wanted to actually do this as a live. Um, you know, I, cause I wanted to film it on the seven, seven portal and then, um, things got, you know, time got away from me. Um, I homeschool two of my children. <laughs> uh, so most of my days are spent doing that. A big chunk of my days is spent doing that. Uh, so time just got away from me. And so I'm actually filming this on the day after the 7 7 portal. And I'm going to premiere this so that we can chat. And so that way, if you guys have any questions, we can sort of, you know, chat about it in, in at the premiere and talk about things because I'm pretty sure a lot of you will have questions. <laughs> All right. So um, let me put my phone on silent uh, just to make sure. Hold on one second. Just to, I just put my phone on silent to make sure I'm not disturbed. Okay. So one of the first things I wanted to talk about is a uh, thing that Stephanie and I are doing on Instagram. So you may know her as Steph Brat 27. Um, her name is Stephanie and she goes by Steph Brat 27 on Instagram. We got together and I know you guys have been waiting for this during our last tarot draw that we did together. We talked about starting a women's circle where everything is completely free and it's just a bunch of women. Basically, we, we talked about starting this because, um, you know, a lot of us in the spiritual community are women. Um, a lot of the women, oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I didn't mean to say a lot of us are women. We are women, <laughs> but a lot of us women in the spiritual community are mothers and um, on top of, you know, working regular jobs and doing a lot of different multitasking things on a daily basis. And so the women's circle is basically a way for us to get together um, and sort of form a circle of women, which, you know, we're, we're going to create a sacred space for women to get together and forget for a few hours at a time that we are mothers, that we are, you know, caregivers, that we are wives, whatever it is, you know, that you put yourself in this little tiny box of, we're going to forget that we're all of those things. And we're going to just get together and do things that women like to do. Okay. And we're also going to empower each other. We're going to lift each other up. We're going to inspire each other. We will tell stories about, you know, things that happen. We'll talk about things that inspired us throughout the day. We will do some tarot. Definitely we will do some tarot. Me and Steph both love tarot. So that's, that we talked about that being a huge thing of what we can do. Um, you know, we'll talk about different things, different topics that are important to you. You know, things like, you know, should our, um, should we as moms, you know, force our children to get the jab or whether they shouldn't or you know what I mean just controversial things that women deal with on a regular basis in regards to your children we'll talk about you know things like you know what are the pros and cons of homeschool versus you know the public school system things like that that um women care about but also it's going to be fun you know there'll be times when we, you know we may have a glass of wine all of us together and we just forget that we're wives, women, mothers, whatever, and just get together and have fun. So that is the most important thing is forgetting the daily task for just two hours a day. It's going to be from six to eight Eastern standard time. And we are going to pick a Wednesday, one Wednesday, once a month to do this. It's going to be completely free, no charge. And we will get together on zoom. Um, Stephanie will be in charge of giving you the link as it gets closer to the time and we'll all get together. So for the first women's circle, we're just going to sort of wing it. We will talk about 
what you know we would like to talk about for the first couple of Wednesdays and we will take a vote you know to decide what it is that we want to do what the thing that is most you know pressing for you guys that you want to talk about and we will talk about that so that's what we're doing for the first um, women's circle is July 17th 6 to 8 Eastern Standard Time and as it gets closer, Steph will send you the Zoom link. We'll all get together and, you know, free, free, feel free to come as you are. Wear your pajamas. I don't give a shit. You know, this is a time for you to be completely comfortable in your skin and, you know, bond with your women friends. So we will be doing that. And we will definitely, the first women's circle, we will definitely be pulling some cards. So that's going to be a ton of fun. All right. So for another thing, so someone has brought to my attention that someone has um, created a TikTok account and is pretending to be me. So just so you guys know, there is someone out there doing that. They created a TikTok under my um, Chakra Bunny Tarot name and they are trying to scam people for readings. So please, please do not get fooled. Don't um, give them any money. Don't, I wouldn't even, you know, s converse with them. Um, I would just go ahead and just report the account. For those of you who have let me know that this is going on, I appreciate it. You guys, you know, I would never, ever, 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 ever approach you ever for a reading. That's, that's not what I do. Um, I believe that those who are meant to work with me will come in and be drawn in because we are a vibrational match and we need to somehow sort of both help each other in the journey somehow okay so I want you to be aware of that okay so the other thing okay so I have some new things that are going on and I want to talk about where my channel is headed so I know in June I sort of flaked out on you guys I didn't I just did the top four and I didn't do um the rest of the month the um astrology signs and there's a good reason for that so i was going through this really huge um another one another dark night of the soul um and this one was so intense there was so much integration there was so much shadow work i literally could not could not physically and emotionally pull myself out of the dark spot that I was in. And this is very rare that it, like I've had a dark night and an integration that was so heavy that I literally could not continue doing my, you know, normal video, um, my normal videos. So I took two really strong emotional hits and I know I've made some hints um, to some of my friends that, you know, know me on Instagram. But um, so I thought that I was getting a house in August and that I was going to be moving out in August and um, the deal fell through. And so that was a huge emotional setback for me. Um, there was a lot of heartbreak involved because me and my children were super excited that this, you know, everything was pointing in the direction of this is where we were supposed to go. And then at the last minute, it just sort of all fell apart. Um, and so that um, took a little bit of emotional processing. Um, also, I was um, sort of seeing someone that, you know, I thought, that it was something that it wasn't. And so this came at the same time that the deal fell through for the house. So um, that was a huge emotional setback for me. And uh, lots of triggers and shadows were dealt with during that relationship. So I am extremely grateful that I went through that and that I got to experience that with this person. Um, but you know, I've been through tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of, of heartbreaks and I've been through two divorces. So, but this one was different. <laughs> this one really, 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 really hurt. It really, really hurt. 
Um, and I think mainly it was because we started out as friends and we were best friends and we sort of spent um, every chance that we could together um, starting out as best friends and then, um, you know, feelings, lines were crossed and feelings were um, exchanged and you know, at the end, when it sort of all started falling apart, um, we were both trying to, like, salvage the friendship and hold on as tightly as we could, even though we knew that um, it was meant to fall apart because, of you know, there were certain things that we had to let go of. So, um, in the end, it was a beautiful lesson and... I am still friends with this individual, but now we are having to start over and sort of set boundaries with each other. Uh, so, you know, I was dealing with that at the same time as losing the house. And I just could not bring myself to, to do videos and pretend like everything was, was, was good in my life when the heartbreak was so strong. Uh, so that's, it's not my excuse. It's what happened and so I'm just explaining to you guys and I wanted to say thank you for those of you that have been so patient um while I sort of integrate these deep spiritual lessons into my daily life and I'm going to come back stronger than ever which brings me to my next point which is my new guides and where my channel is headed so um I will still be doing love readings but they are going to be vastly different than the readings I normally do. So these readings are going to be more focused on how it is I can... I apologize for turning back on noise. These readings are going to be more focused on how it is that... It was just 12.02 on my camera. How it is that I can assist the collective twin souls um, growth and lessons. So, for example, instead of focusing on what it is, you know, you and your person are going through and what is showing up on your timeline for you and your person, I will be focusing on you. So, for example, I will be telling you this and this and this and this is what my guides and I do have two new, two new guides, which I will be introducing and talking about in a second. This brings me to my next subject, but I will be working with these two specific guides which chose me, by the way. <laughs> we'll get more into that later. I'm getting ahead of myself. But I will be working with these two guides and also, you know, with my guides, other guides and my angels to figure out what needs to be worked on and, and focusing on you and your healing. Because the fastest way to manifest union and to manifest anything in general is to focus on yourself so I will be telling you what I think my guides think that you need to work on in order to um, better assist you to manifest your union as quickly as possible and not only that but just to vastly change your quality of life period okay and I guarantee you watching this if you're watching this right now you're a vibrational match to this message and even just this little message that I'm talking to right now and watching these videos will vastly change your life. I can guarantee it because they have showed me, my two new guides, where all of this is headed and for all of us and for the collective and the changes are fucking immense, you guys. They are so immense, okay? So heading into this new era and into the new 7-7 portal, okay? This is what I discovered. And also... Okay, so I'm getting ahead of myself again. I want to talk also about the new 777 portal that was, you know, the energies will continue until the end of the month. But you will notice with this 77 portal, you will be getting immense, quick, very quick clarity downloads. Mine came this morning, like super quickly, the fastest and the clearest I've ever experienced them. And that's what the story I wanted to get into. It'll bring me into my next thing that I wanted to talk about which is the channeled song that I seen and the vision that I had. But, so I want to talk about my two new guides that I'm going to be work with, working with. So 
Um, <clears throat> since this new portal opens, I was made aware of the fact that I have two new guides that have been with me my whole entire life. But I didn't realize that they were with me until this 7-7 seven, seven portal opened up and was like, bam, it was like lightning hit. Okay, so the two guys that I will be working with mainly on my channel are Anubis. Okay, his name is A-N-U-B-I-S, Anubis. And I had no idea, just to give you some idea of how these, these downloads sort of hit me. I had absolutely no idea who this this guide was or what you know he was about so I had to google everything I bought a book on him so I could start studying and working with him and giving him sort of the honor that he deserves he is an Egyptian god of death and the underworld and I don't think it's a coincidence since my rising sign is Scorpio and that deals a lot with death and transformation so that explains why I guess sort of, you know, it makes sense why Anubis would sort of choose me. Okay. Um, and then the other guy, and I'll, I'll get more into um, how I discovered um, that he wanted to work with me in, in, in a minute. But so the other guy I will be working very close with uh, is again, another Egyptian God. And this is Thoth. Okay. So you guys might be from might be a little bit more familiar with Thoth than you are with Anubis. Um, Thoth wrote um, the emerald the the emerald tablets. Okay, so for those of you that are familiar with the emerald tablets, you will know who I'm talking about. He's a giant like bird headed guy, <laughs> and I'm not laughing. It's just the way I said bird sounded funny. So I'm giving Thoth all the respect that you know he deserves. And I just want to make that crystal clear. Um, so Thoth is a very large god um, between seven and nine foot tall, which Anubis is too. And he has the head of a bird. I'm not sh entirely sure what type of bird it is. This goes to show you guys how I, I, I you can tell that I'm not lying. I've definitely been chosen by them because I had, I still have no idea. Like... <laughs> I don't know too much about them. Like Thoth, I know he has a bird head only because I Googled it. Um, and when the download came in. Um, and Anubis has the head of, they believed at first that it was the head of a, a jackal because um, the way that it looked. But now um, I was actually reading up on, you know, in this book about Anubis. And they believe now that the head is the head of a wolf because the color is black and more closely um, related to the color of the wolf, okay? Um, and there's different reasons why they think it's the wolf instead of the jackal. But so basically how I discovered that these guys were working, wanted to work with me is I had a dream um, about scorpions. And so that sort of stuck out first. And so then that took to me looking up the symbolism of scorpions. And then I had a dog in the dream. And I actually had a friend once tell me that I showed up in his dream with a dog. And I kept thinking, you know, well, maybe, you know, it just means I'm loyal. I'm a Leo. We're known as the most loyal sign in the Zodiac, right? And that's, that's how I um, rationalized it. And then come to find out later, as I looked up in my dream book, my dream interpretation book, the dog and the symbolism of the dog. And the first thing on there was representative of Anubis. And I'm like, as soon as I heard that name, Anubis, something went bam. It was like electricity went off. It was like, you know how you, they, people say you have those moments of the sword of truth, clarity, and the light bulb goes off? That's what happened. Something went ding, ding, ding in my head, and I went, what? So then I remembered right at that moment that my friend had told me that I had showed up in his dream once with a dog, and I thought, oh my gosh. So then right at that moment that all of this was going through my head and I'm thinking, who is this, you know, dog headed guide, whatever. I thought it was a dog found out later it's a wolf. So I remembered another dream I had when I was like, I must have been about seven. Okay. I had this dream of this giant 
and I'm, I'm, I called it a creature. Yes, I was seven. So I thought it was a creature and it was this giant being and it had the body of a human, but the head of a dog. And, and, and back then, you know, I thought it was a dog because I was a child. And so I thought it was a monster. And I remember specifically telling my mother about this dream and being like, I had this nightmare of this like creature and the creature, the creature, I'm sorry, it, it was Anubis. But I thought it was a creature and it was a monster. So um, I told my mom I had the dream about this monster and it was standing in my grandma's house. Um, like there was like this room where it was like a kitchen and then there was a basement in the kitchen. There was like a basement and then there's stairs that went down to, you know, her basement. So Anubis was standing in the kitchen of my grandma's house and he was just staring at me and it wasn't he wasn't staring at me menacingly he was just staring at me but I was seven when I had the dream so in my dream I'm like oh my gosh this monster is gonna take me to the basement he's gonna eat me I was all scared and I had no idea so I remembered that dream when I was reading the dream interpretation book and then I just knew I said once I looked up who Anubis was. I recognized him from my dream that I had when I was seven. And I was like, oh my gosh, this whole entire time, this, this God, this Egyptian God, this powerful God of the underworld and of death, you know, Anubis is the one that he was king of the dead and he stepped down to let Osiris rule the underworld because he was that humble and that kind. And Osiris was so honored by that, that he gave Anubis um, the most important task in the underworld, which is to, to weigh the heart of a soul when it first passes into the transitional period when they die. So Anubis's job is he takes your heart and he weighs it on the scales, the Libra scales, right? Um, he weighs your heart against a feather, Okay. And now if your heart is lighter than the feather, then you are able to pass on into the underworld where you, you know, will await, you know, whatever happens, like whatever you believe in, you reincarnated, you're whatever, you're in heaven, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what you believe in. But, you know, it's, I'm, it's just, it's part of the story. So, and if your heart was heavier than the feather, then basically, um, Anubis was in charge of releasing a, a hellhound, like a literal hound of hell, which would eat your soul. It was a demon and it would eat your soul. So a little bit scary, <laughs> right? But this, this God chose me and marked me and said to me, since I was seven, has been trying to reach me and I just was not ready to hear his voice or accept him until the 7-7 portal opened up. So now that I have fully embraced my new mission, <laughs> that is the God that I will be working with mainly to get his messages out of, of how he thinks um, we need to move forward going into this new, you know, planetary energies. Okay. And I will still, it is still part of my mission to assist the twins. Um, one of my main missions I learned really early on was to assist the twins to come into union um, so that we could help raise the frequency. And that and, and it's always been an honor for me to do that. Now it's just going to be a whole new level of focusing on the twins solely as an individual than just as a couple um, to sort of help them to be their best selves. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so... Um, and Thoth. Okay, so let me tell you how Thoth chose me. So I was awakened and activated in 2016 when I was pregnant with my daughter. Fast forward to 2018, around Christmas time, I was pregnant with my son and um, I felt very guided to walk into this little outlet. My jaw hurts from talking so much. This little outlet store um, in my town. And I don't know why I, I never go into that store, but I did. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll find some Christmas presents for my kids here. I don't know. So I walked in there and I was shopping and they didn't really have much, but I turned down this aisle and keep in mind, this is an outlet store. So they sell like different odds and ends. They never have the same thing there 
twice, okay? Because it's basically outlets um, send this store like odds and ends and things that were damaged and things like that. So, and then they resell them, okay? At a cheaper price because they're damaged. Mm, my TMJ. Okay, so I turned down this aisle and I seen these, this deck of tarot cards and I have never, ever, 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 ever seen any deck of tarot cards ever in this store ever. And I still haven't. I look for them all the time when I go in there. Like now that I shop there, you know, more often, I've never seen a, a, a deck of tarot cards there. But the deck of tarot cards was the Thoth deck and bam, that started my journey with Thoth. So after I got the deck, I started dreaming about him. I had no idea who he was. And I was like freaked out because I'm like, whoa, this is like this weird God, like human body again, like I seen when I was a child, but like bird head and I don't understand. And I was like trying to figure it out and then Googling it and figuring out, oh, this is Thoth. So then fast forward, I was on YouTube one day. And something popped up by Thoth and it said the Emerald Tablets. And I thought, why does this keep showing up? Like Thoth kept showing up in my timeline. I would go on Instagram and then there would be pictures of Thoth. And, um, you know, the Emerald Tablets kept showing up so much that I started studying them, right? And it was funny because Thoth showed up so much in my life that... I actually joked with friends of mine and said, yeah, Thoth is my husband because he just kept popping up and popping up. And I'm like, oh, he's trying to like woo me because he just kept showing up. And then come to find out later when I had a past life reading that I <laughs> I actually was married to Thoth in, in a, a past life. And I say past life in quotations because, you know, I hope you guys know this already. It's just this, I mean... That, you know, all of our timelines exist at once. Like time is linear. So, and by linear, it means that every timeline exists all at once, past, present, future. And they all just sort of exist on different timelines and different dimensions. And we experience them all as past, present, future. But they all really exist at the same time. <laughs> I know that's mind blowing, but it's true. So, I mean, but yeah. So in a past life, I was married to Thoth in, in Egypt. So <laughs> that's, that could be why he chose me again. You know, we've loved each other through many lifetimes and he's always been one of my guides. He's always been in my life and I just didn't realize it until the seven, seven portal opened. So, all right. So that's the number two thing. Okay. So now we're going to go to the number three thing that I wanted to talk about. So while I was doing my twin soul reading today, normal, it, for those of you that follow me on Instagram, I do a twin soul reading where I just pull cards and normally I will use my Lemurian love deck because, you know, it's foofy and it's lovey and it's, oh, I love you and blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking, of so this morning when I got up, I was going to go, I went to reach for that deck and my guides were like, mm, nope, we're not using that one today. And I went, what? And they were like, nope. So I felt very guided to use my Akashic reading deck. And I was like, oh, well, maybe it's just, it's a seven, seven portal. I'm feeling guided to do something else. No. So all of it had a purpose. So I did the twin soul reading like I normally do. And after I got done, I felt very guided to read the cards meanings. Okay. So the first card that we got was future lives. And when I read that over, um, you know, it, it said this whole thing about, you know, um, going back into your Akashic records and sort of um, taking the past life lessons and using them in your future life. And because basically what they were saying is, for those of you twin souls who have loved each other in past lives, this now is the timeline where your future lives, future lives are coinciding and colliding so if you do not know who your twin soul is you will know who your twin soul is coming up very soon this seven seven portal and the um lion's gate 888 portal which is on august 8th between that timeline very powerful energies will be coming into play and those of you that do not know your twin you will probably be introduced into to your twin soul during that time um, 
the energies of past lives are bleeding into this timeline. And so your past will now be your future. Does that make sense? So if you get an Akashic reading, you will be able to utilize the lessons that you learned in your past lives and use it into this future life when you coincide and collide with your twin. And I say collide because believe me, it will feel like a collision course when you finally do run into your twin soul. Because I'm pretty sure that the person that I'm dealing with right now is my twin soul. The one I told you about that, you know, the friend turned into lover because I have never ever in my life and I've had plenty of false twins. I've had two or three that I can name right now. Um, and it has not felt like this. And trust me, you will know beyond a shadow of a doubt when you do collide into your twin soul. Okay. Because it's going to feel different than anything you've ever felt ever in your life. Okay. So there's that. But anyways, while I was doing that reading, I felt very guided to read the meanings of the cards. And, um, one of the cards that I pulled was curse. So I went and I read the meaning and it said, Something about, you know, um, clearing the land where you live because there was curses possibly put on the land where you live. And um, it's really strange because I've always felt that this property that I live on now um, had some kind of a past and um, that the energy really needed to be cleared. Okay, but I didn't have any proof of it until today. So... Um, I went ahead and I actually did the ritual. I just, you know, with, with the help of my guides, I, I connected to Anubis and meditation and I connected to Thoth and I cleared the energy of the, the property that I live on right now. And I also cleared my energy field of all curses and I cleared not just my energy, but also all of the twin souls, my I felt very guided by my guides to clear the energy for the twin souls. So that's what I did. I went ahead and I said, for the collective, I'm going to clear all of the curses and past life curses, future life curses, any curses that have bled over from ancestors um, on the twin souls right now that are in my collective timeline. Same, the twins that are on the same timeline as me. And you will know who you are because if you're watching this video, then you are on the same timeline collective timeline as me okay and you're meant to hear this message from me so i went ahead and cleared our timelines of all you know and past ancestral curses and the curses that you know we had on us now um and i'm telling you if you talk to a lot of my friends like if you talk to the fascinating fairy she was pulling cards and she kept getting curses 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 so this is an ongoing thing it's it all is coming together right now at the seven seven portal i'm telling you it all just sort of came to a head okay uh, while i was doing that um this video is too long it's going to go into another file but it was just three three one three on my phone so while i was doing that um i went ahead and did some energy clearing some past trauma religion clearing for all the twins that are on my timeline. Um, and while I was doing that, I realized that, hold on one second. I just paused it and it was three, 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 six on my phone. Okay. So sorry about that guys. So while I was doing that, um, I basically felt really guided to sort of do this for um the seven seven portal exactly what i did like for the, the the twin soul reading so for the seven seven portal i am going to be running a akashic reading sale and my readings my akashic readings are normally i think i want to say 133 dollars. i am going to be running them for 77 dollars. you know 77 for the seven seven portal and this sale will be running all the way up until 8 8 the Lionsgate portal okay while we're going through these massive energy shifts and i will be offering the akashic readings so that we can tap into your akashic um, records and clear out anything that needs to be cleared so that you can manifest union with your twin faster and also so you can improve your quality of life, you guys, we will be going into clearing things that will completely change 
your quality of life. I guarantee it. And if it doesn't change your quality of life within, you know, a month, then feel free to come to me and say, I need a fucking refund and I'll give it to you. I swear to God, because I know that this is what I'm guided to do right now. It came so clearly and through so, so clearly that I know that this is what they want me to do. Okay. So that's my Akashic readings healing special that I'll be running. Um, and the reason I chose 77 too is because seven is, is, is the number of luck and of abundance. So we, we're going to activate that for me and also for you. Okay. So, um, while I was doing also the channeled reading that I did for the twin souls, a song came to me. So this, I mean, this is very quickly, um, and I want to talk about it. So I know this is for somebody because every time I ignore this, um, my, my, my guides get really pissed. I woke up this morning with a song in my head and normally, um, I'll ignore it and, you know, it's weird because I know every time I do wake wake up with a song in my head, it's it's not for me because I literally will wake up in the morning with the song in my head. So I know it's a channeled message for someone. And my guys always seem to get annoyed when I don't make a video about it. So here goes. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not going to sing it, but I'm <laughs> thirsty and I almost choke. So the song that I woke up today in my head is by Ariana Grande, and the song is called Love Me Harder. So I'll sing a little bit of it just to sort of give you an idea. It's a song that goes, so if you want to love me, you gotta, 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 gotta to love me harder. Love me. That, that song. So if this is for you and you're going to know it's for you because it's going to resonate, um, look it up on YouTube look up the lyrics because there's something in there for you. Okay. Also, I, I had a vision when the song was playing in my head, I had a vision. Now these are two separate things. These are two separate messages, but right after I heard the song, I had another vision. So this is for two different people. I just want to clarify that. I had a vision of a cake topper, a wedding cake topper. And, um, it was like, you ever see those, I'm going to say cheesy. <laughs> To me, it seems cheesy. I would never choose anything like this. So that's how I knew it wasn't for me. And I don't believe in this. I don't believe in marriage, but that's another story. So it was a cake topper of a male and a female. And they were like almost like cartoony characters. And they were like holding hands. You ever see those? Like they're very like cartoonish. Like they're small. And it's just a male and a female and the one's dressed as a bride and the other one's dressed as a groom and they're just kind of, they're short and they look like cartoons almost and they're like, and they're holding hands. So I seen that on top of a wedding cake. So if, if that means anything to you, let me know, comment down below. Cause I seen that too. So that's for someone. All right. Um, I am having a sale on my Lemurian love oracles. Okay. You guys. I want to clear these out and it's really important that I do so because I'm clearing out the energy of things that no longer serve me. Excuse me. And my Lo Marian love oracles are normally 30 or $60. I'm sorry, $69.99. Okay. I'm going to put them on sale for $30, $30. That is over half off. And the reason I'm doing this is because I have another idea for another deck that I want to create, which is going to be massively helpful to the collective. Um, it's going to be an affirmation deck. And, you know, the reason this is so important to me and so dear to my heart is because I have been using affirmations for the past two months. This is month number two that I'm doing affirmations. I write, I pick four affirmations from my Light Seers deck. And I write them on a piece of paper and I put it on my fridge. And every day I say those affirmations in the morning when I'm cooking my children breakfast and that is how I start my day and I'm telling you what this shit has changed my fucking life and I want to share the same thing with you guys but I have to get rid of this little Marian love oracle before I can start anything new so if you're interested in it DM me on Instagram you will get it for $30 I will I won't even fucking charge you shipping I'll just ship it right to you um that's how much I'm trying to push these. So it's a beautiful deck. It's the mermaid deck that you see me do my readings on, on Instagram. Um, and also on YouTube, I've been doing readings with them. 
So, oh my God. And which brings to the next thing. Thank you guys so much for my 1K. Oh my God. So the last short that I did with my Lemurian Love Oracle, you guys hit 1K the first within the first hour. And I, I literally, okay. First of all, my mind was blown. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I cried like a little bitch. I literally cried. I cried. I cried. I cried. I was not even expecting that. And um, I couldn't have done it without you guys. So I love you. I love you. I, I love you. Can you feel the love? <laughs> Can you feel it? I love you guys so much. I took my kids out to dinner to celebrate. We ate Chinese food at this little swanky place in my, you know, town that I live in. And it's, we had, it's a little hick town, so there's not really a lot of swanky restaurants, but that was the most expensive restaurant in town. And we went and we ate and we celebrated my 1K views and it was fucking amazing. And it was, you guys did that shit. And I'm, I'm so grateful for you guys. I swear to God. Okay. So let's see. We went over that. We went over that. Um, okay. There's only two more things. I'm almost done. Um, one of my other guides I'm going to be working with is Archangel Raphael. Um, I, how did I, oh, in the Akashic reading that I did, um, one of the cards said, um, work with Archangel Raphael. And, you know, it was, it was for the twin flame collective. So, you know, if you're a twin soul and you know that you are, I'm passing the message on to you. You should be working with Archangel Raphael during this little portal time because he's going to assist you with what you need to do to clear the energies so that you can manifest and um, create this beautiful heaven on earth, which we're already in, by the way. Okay. Um, but, you know, it'll help you to, you know, assist the collective. So um, I will be working closely with Archangel Raphael for my Akashic healings readings too, as well. So if, if you um, Archangel Raphael is already one of your guides that you work with, then you're definitely meant to work with me and you should hit me up to schedule that. And I'm going to put the, um, the Akashic healings reading. I will link my, um, website below and it will already have the new price on there. So I will change it from the $133 to $77.77. Um, so that, you know, you guys can take advantage of that immediately. So that will be linked below. Um, I will probably link my Instagram there as well so that that way you guys can enroll for the woman's circle if you want to. Um, and if you are interested in the Lemurian love Oracle for the $30, you know, you can, I will link my Instagram below and you guys can message me on Instagram and, you know, let me know that you're interested in it and give me your address and I'll just, I'll send it out to you right away. Um, for that, I only accept PayPal payments. So, but if I know you personally, you could probably just send me a check and I said, it won't be a big deal, whatever. So, okay. So the last thing I wanted to talk about, the Tiger's Eye third friend is still available for purchase on my Etsy shop. You guys know I'm not keeping any of this money. So I'm going to push this and keep pushing it because this, all of this money, the proceeds um, are going to a women's shelter house and it's a local shelter house that's here in my town and they've actually helped me immensely through a lot of um <laughs> a lot of things that you know I'm not going to get into um a lot of personal things um right now about my journey but they have helped me immensely in in a lot of um very personal ways so this place is very near and dear to my heart i've worked with a lot of these women here in this um, women's shelter and i've actually been a client there often myself in the past so this is very near and dear to my heart so if you want to purchase this tiger's eye third friend third tiger's eye third eye friends all of the proceeds, every single cent is going to go to this woman's shelter. I'm not going to keep any of it. This is my way to give back to, you know, the community where I live and to do it with love in my heart and in my soul. So please, if you feel so guided to help with that, I would really appreciate it. And I know that my viewers and those that watch me, you guys have such amazing, beautiful hearts. So I'm just going to, you know, put that out there. If you feel guided to do that, then please message me. You can message me on Instagram or you can just purchase it directly off my Etsy shop 
and all of the money will be given to the woman's shelter every single cent okay even the shipping i'm gonna send all of that all of it to the woman's shelter so okay you guys that's it that's all um i'll talk i want to talk a little bit more about the seven seven portal so just so you guys know what to expect and um if you have any questions please feel free to put it in the live chat because i will be premiering this at 12 p.m eastern standard time so we can talk um expect lots of downloads like quickly um expect new activation of gifts um this whole um channeling songs and visions got super strong like i've never had visions before that happened new today with the portal that opened up um i did receive channel songs before but i sort of doubted myself and thought no this is not part of the gift and then today i was definitely shown yes this is part of my gift it is another one of my gifts to help the twin souls to come into union so for example, if you're a twin soul, you know you're a twin soul, and this song means something to you, then that means that this message is for you. You're meant to work with me. We're meant to open doors and gates for you and for your twin soul. These are messages from spirit to help you on your journey to your twin soul journey so that you can manifest your best quality of life so you can live your best life and also live your best union life with your twin soul forever which is how you're meant to live okay so expect in the seven seven portal to experience new gifts um downloads that will happen very quickly um some of you will feel super energetic like i am right now some of you will feel extremely tired um a lot of you will feel guided to completely change something in your life um some of you will be guided to go change a lot of things in your life um you know the seven seven portal right now is all about revamping things um it's the energy of transformation and death is very heavy sort of changing things phoenix energy rising from the ashes um a lot of you will feel guided to step out into the spotlight doing more for the collective than you were um and if you're not there yet that's okay you're still going through a huge, massive spiritual transformation. And just because you're doing it on the sidelines, it doesn't matter. We're all going through the same shit right now, okay? So some of you will feel guided to step up more and some of you will feel guided to go within. Follow your instincts because the portal is opening different energies for everyone. The collective energies are more gifts, okay? and um more downloads so those all of you will be experiencing what no matter where you're at in your journey okay um expect new guides like me i got new guides some of you will be experiencing new guides new angel messages pay attention to them uh what else do we need to talk about spirits anything else you want them to know about the collective energies um some of you will feel um like changing uh things in your life um to benefit you so for instance if you are a meat eater you will want to all of a sudden be a vegetarian and th the changes will be very extreme like that like you'll be like what the fuck and it'll make sense later on down the road you know you will be clearing out your system and sort of making things easier for your light body um as we're all right now sort of creating our light bodies okay um some of you will feel guided to exercise some of you will feel guided to rest more what else there will be a lot of shadow work you guys a ton um and it's gonna be rough and it's gonna be bumpy as hell but once you get through it, you will end up more empowered. Like, look at my, look at what I went through. My dark night of the soul. It, it really, it knocked me on my ass. But look at now. I've come back way more powerful than before. So there's sort of this collective energy of being knocked down and tower momented. So that you can rise back up and be um, an even better, more powerful person and be able to stand in your power however that looks for you whether it's you know standing up for yourself whether it's 
teaching like like I'm doing, um, stepping more into helping the collective, like you know what I'm doing, or stepping into the spotlight to help the collective, or just doing work on the sidelines, like sending out love through meditations or whatever, however that looks for you. These moments of tower periods are meant to make you stronger so that we can better assist the collective. So I hope if you are going through a tower moment right now that you reach out to me and we can sort of, you know, work on it together. I'm always here, you guys, for these moments when we feel like we're being dragged through the shit only to rise up like a lotus from the mud. So with that being said, I'm done. This video's gotten really long. It's almost an hour long. I love you guys so much. I hope you stay till the end because this message was very important. My guides were like so adamant about doing this and I wish I could have done this live but this is the best thing to a live I will premiere this and we will talk and we will chat and we will um talk about these experiences that we're going through so please feel free to let me know what you're going through comments let me know um you know in the live chats what you're going through because I'm here we're all going through the same thing right now. So, you know, I'm here. I just got a chill up my body. So that lets me know I'm on the right track. I love you guys so fiercely. Thank you for being so patient while I figure out what I'm doing with my channel. And I will start uploading new videos here in July with the new formats. I love you guys.